We are so excited to share my collection at Williams Sonoma. It's a new tabletop collection called Gwendolyn. And it's based on designs that our mom did, drawings and sketches of hers, and it's turned out so beautiful, so pretty. When we were little kids, mm -hmm. she would make wedding cakes and birthday cakes on the side to earn extra money for the family, and she would sketch out and draw uh, what she was gonna make. William Sonoma took these sketches and created this stunning collection of tabletop. And I don't think she would ever have dreamed that those sketches would end up now in everybody's home in such an elegant way. When I think about mom, she wasn't afraid to try anything. I remember her making a dress to wear to a wedding and she made the cake. That's uh, right. <laughs> she just, would, she would try things, she was not afraid. Yeah, she was, she was totally fearless. I mean, I really think if she were sitting here, she would be, she would be the star of this show. She would. <laughs> One of my favorite things ever is being in the kitchen with you because this is the experience that we share that nobody else has but us. That's you know? right. Our mom encouraged us to get in there, like right. get in there and make biscuits, get your mm -hmm. hands dirty. Yeah. Um, she encouraged us, and I think that's why we both cook now for our families because we were always encouraged that just get in there and give it a just shot. Do it you know? right. Don't yeah. be afraid. That's that fearless part coming out. But exactly. Well, our mom was a third grade school teacher, so cursive writing was the thing, and um, she was perfect. perfect. Her name, her signature is on the bottom of this tabletop collection, and it's not altered. It wasn't run through some machine to make it perfect. It was her That's signature. Fair. When I see mom's signature on the bottom of the plates, it's, it's her. We're lucky girls, the parents that we had, we're very lucky and to be able to share them with everybody makes it really special.